Welcome to Thermal Integration Made Easy, a video and download series that covers everything you need to know about integrating Teledyne FLIR thermal camera modules. Today, we're going to cover radiometry with the Boson and Boson Plus, factors that influence accuracy, and a few tips and tricks to get started. There are many resources available to support integration at FLIR.com slash boson. Another great resource is our support center found at FLIR.com slash custhelp. Please note all links will be included in the video description. Let's get started. Please download the Boson GUI, which provides the ability to quickly access settings, which is critical to high speed integration cycles. Note that Windows 10 64-bit or newer is required to operate the Boson GUI. Integrators with the original Boson models require GUI 3.x and older, while Boson Plus models require GUI 4.0 and newer. Please download the appropriate GUI and see the quick start guides at flir.com boson. What is radiometry? Radiometry measures the absolute temperature of objects. This feature is not required for all applications. Note that non-radiometric cameras cannot be made radiometric after purchase, so be sure to specify a radiometric model if needed. Accuracy depends on the camera, but boson accuracy is typically the greater of plus or minus 5 degrees C or plus or minus 5% of the temperature reading in Celsius. Radiometric accuracy is affected by the characteristics of objects being measured, the environment, and the camera. Emissivity is a measure of how efficiently an object radiates heat. Highly polished metallic surfaces will have a lower emissivity of about 0.10, matte surfaces are around 0.90, while human skin and water are about 0.97. Objects must have a high emissivity to be measured properly, so make sure your test targets have a high emissivity value. You can learn a lot more about emissivity in our website, and through training with the Infrared Training Center at infraredtraining.com. You can use the Boson GUI to adjust Boson parameters to optimize the radiometric accuracy. There are eight parameters available under the Radiometry Factors tab. Window temperature is the temperature of the IR transmissive window in the optical path of the camera. Window transmission is the transmission of the IR transmissive window in the optical path of the camera. Window reflection is the percent reflection of the IR transmissive window in the optical path of the camera. And window reflection temperature is the reflection of the internal temperature on the camera side of the IR transmissive window. Atmospheric transmission is the transmission percent of the atmosphere in the optical path between the camera and the target. Atmospheric temperature is the temperature of the air in the optical path between the camera and the target. Emissivity target is the emissivity of the target being measured. Background temperature is the temperature of the scene background being imaged. Generally, this will be near ambient temperature. That completes the list of adjustable factors, so let's dig in determining the values for some of the most important factors. There are a few key definitions to have as you adjust the radiometric factors. Temperature linear or T-linear is the temperature linear output for most radiometric use cases. High gain mode, temperature in Kelvin is equal to 0.01 times the pixel value, Temperature stable or T stable is a flux linear output and should not be used in most cases unless manual flux to temperature conversion is required. The most coarse and simple adjustment to the T linear output is to apply an offset adjustment based on a consistent temperature error of the camera. For example, if the camera reports two degrees high consistently over the operational temperature range of the camera, a simple negative two degree offset can be applied to address this error. Note that the commands to adjust the T linear output only for the specified gain mode. HG refers to high gain and LG refers to low gain. 
They also require refreshing the T linear LUT using the T linear refresh LUT command. This is automatically done in the latest GUI. Please review the data sheet if these terms are unclear. Please see the IR window transmittance procedure found at FLIR Cust Help support site. This procedure covers the definitions of transmissivity or transmittance, what the transmission rate is of an optic material, and what values need to compensate for an IR window. There is a simple way to perform a quick window transmission test using the built-in functionality of the window transmission environmental parameter and a blackbody. First, set up a blackbody at 15C higher or lower than the camera's TFPA. Set up the camera at a distance appropriate for imaging the blackbody. Then, put the camera in manual FFC mode to avoid any small jumps in the radiometric output. Wait 30 minutes for the camera and blackbody to reach thermal equilibrium. Measure and record the temperature of the blackbody using the T linear output. Then, Mount or hold the IR window in front of the camera FOV. Adjust the environmental parameter radiometry set transmission window to lower and lower values until the temperature reading matches the windowless temperature that was previously recorded. The number that matches the temperature reading of the camera pre and post calibration should be the approximate transmission percentage of the window. Windows are typically supplied with a specified transmission value, so the result should be very close. Isotherms are another useful capability and allow configuration of ranges of temperatures or percentage to have customized colorization. Isotherms can be utilized to create custom color LUTs like sepia. They can also be used for highlighting objects of certain temperatures with radiometric cameras while still using the 8-bit colorized output. Isotherms can be configured via SDK, Configure Port, or GUI interface. Isotherm controls need to be set to proper temperature units and the correct gain mode to accomplish the right palette for your application. For example, utilize low gain mode for high temperature measurements of greater than 150 C. Within the Boson app, there are six regions and modes to help you obtain the right palette. Non-linear, contrast optimized mapping of color, region not linear correlated to temperature or flux. Linear RGB is a linear RGB to RGB interpolation between colors. Disable is exclude from isotherm regions. Single color is only a specified color, no interpolation. Linear HSV is a linear HSV color space interpolation between two colors. Standard is a standard AGC output using the current AGC colorization LUT. This wraps up our episode on radiometry. For additional support, you can find more videos and application notes at fleer.com time or visit fleer.com slash custhelp for further technical support. Be sure to tune into other episodes to learn more about Boson, Boson Plus, and other Teledyne FLIR thermal camera module integration. Please subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.